Then a lot of times I'll go inside the fur and get to where I can get a finger through where uh, I've done that and then I use that to pull. starting our coon series today as far as uh, skinning goes and it, unlike the beaver that you guys uh, probably seen that we already posted um, you case a raccoon and so basically what that's going to involve is splitting it from uh, ankle to ankle and then we're going to roll it over so we'll show you that as we go so kind of like with the beaver first thing we're going to do <coughs> we're going to start by cutting right here uh, just in a circle all the way around uh, the back legs. And once we do that, flip them over and do the other one as well. Once that's done, I'm going to take right here, I'm going to follow this seam all the way down to right here around the anus and then go up to this one and we'll start from there so we'll show you that. So there you can see we just made a cut from uh, basically heel to heel and then you're just going to start pulling and loosening this up and this one has been in uh, the cooler for a couple days uh, so it probably going to not be so cooperative with pulling but most of the time you skin a cone uh, and it's fresh you can just about pull it. Usually we would have uh, this on a gambrel. I don't have the gambrel set up yet. Uh, so we're going to show you how to do it without one. And basically you would just kind of like I'm doing here use the legs for leverage hold and pull. Then once you get to right here, you have to come around here at the tail. And we're going to go ahead and get the tail out. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and carve uh, around the anus and get all of that tissue away because we don't want to keep that with our hide. So once you do that, what I like to do is I like to just take and hold and just cut right down the tail. And they do have tail strippers and I probably got one laying around there somewhere. But most of the time, I end up just doing this anyways. At least to, to get right around here. Just kind of stabilizing and then cutting right down the uh, center of the tail along the tailbone. See, it will kind of come straight off there. 
And this is usually when you get, if you got a tail stripper, you just put it on here and just strip that tail off. And actually, let me just grab it real quick and I'll show you. So here's a tail stripper. And all you do is you bring it around, clamp it down on the tail, and just pull. And it pulls it straight out, as you can see there. Then after I do that, I do go ahead and go back and finish splitting the tail all the way down uh, to the tip. That way it don't slip. And just be careful when you're doing this uh, like this because there's no bone in it now so it, it would be easy to go through to the, to the other side. Then from there, pretty much just to the hind legs and pull. this was hanging on a gambrel, it would just be hanging by its back feet and you'd be pulling down. So it's a little easier like that, uh, but you can do it like this without it. Before we get much farther, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the, the front pulse off. And I usually cut them right here uh, behind the ankle, but when I'm working this fur, I'll just go almost down that way I can sew it up after I'm done. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's much hanging there, but we'll show you how to trim that off whenever we put it on a stretcher. Then once you get the leg rolled out like there, you can kind of see there's just a little membrane. I like to just poke through that with my hand like that. Like that, and then it gives you something to hold on to and leverage. And we'll just pull that right out. Then a lot of times I'll go inside the fur and get to where I can get a finger through where uh, I've done that and then I use that to pull and then I pull against the front leg.
you anywhere that gives you a problem like that, just take your knife and touch. Usually once you get down here to the head on one that's set like this and cooler for a couple of days and it's not real fresh uh, and the rigor is already set up and whatnot, uh, you usually have to do a little work like this up here around the head. What I'm doing as you can see with this hand here, I'm just kind of squeezing and pulling tension down and then just touching with the knife. And then also, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got the end of the fur here hanging off the side of the table and let that weight help pull uh, tension too. You just kind of keep working back and forth. I see with just some tension and touching, it comes off fairly easy. So you can see right here is one of the ears. So we're just going to cut down through that. Right here is the eye. You want to be real careful around there. Not gap it. Got through the eye of there. Remember that tear duct kind of goes back in there, so you kind of got to get back in there a little bit. Tip your blade so you don't gap it. Turn over. Do the other side now. So this is some gum tissue right here. So just be real careful when you can kind of cut through that and try to thin it out a little bit. Save you on the flesh and jaw. And a lot of people on the bottom jaw, they just cut it off anyways. But I always wait until I get it completely skinned out and then I'll go back and trim that lower jaw off afterwards. from the bone to the cartilage and you'll just cut right through that cartilage. Alright, you can see there the bone ends and this cartilage so then you just go straight down. Alright, and that's how you do it. So this is what I was talking about, the lower jaw. 
a lot of people cut that off while they're skinning it, but I'll just wait till afterwards and I'll go right there and just cut it straight off. Alright. Now he's ready for the flesh and bean. You can see it's a good looking uh, dark kind of black back cone. So this is why we decided to skin this one and uh, we're gonna stretch it and uh, salt it. Tan it, then we're going after we get it done tanning it, soft tanning it. Uh, we're going to make a coon skin cap out of it. We may have to have another coon or two to go with it, uh, so we'll see. But you guys stay along for that. That'd be pretty interesting. All right, that's how you skin a coon there without a gambrel, just uh, flat surface like a table or you know the ground even and a uh, pocket knife. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, be sure to leave them for us down in the comment section. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, help us out. And if you guys got um, recommendations on content that you want to see or, you know, stuff that you need help with, uh, you know, whether it relates to man management of wildlife, uh, trapping, hunting, fishing, um, you know, we don't claim to be professionals, but we've been doing it for a long time. Uh, let us know, reach out with any questions. We'll be glad to help any way we can. And we'll see you guys here in just a little bit.